This is Good Morning Mumbai, and you're with Rishi K. Radio One. I figured that tomorrow, since uh, I don't have a show on air for selfish reasons, I will celebrate Republic Day today. <laughs> Very pleased to have with me people from We the People. We the People are uh, is an NGO, and they're working uh, in the field of of what we are just about to find out. Welcome to the show, Sushma Sharma. How are you? Very well, thank you. I'm so happy to be on the show. Sushma is advisor with We the People, and uh, Shankar, Shankar Hi. is also the advisor with We the People. We the People. What do you stand for? How did it? How did the the invention or coming up with this come about? There must have been something going on in all your collect individual minds to come and you know get together and and uh, do this. Yeah, yeah. The the whole idea of we the people was about how do we get uh, the common citizens of the country take responsibilities as well as rights. Many times we blame the state for not doing this, not doing that, but we don't easily look at how we can bring about change in ourselves, in the way we live uh, our lives as responsible citizens of the country. And uh, we, many of us, got together in Bombay, in Delhi, in many other places, and started talking about how do we build uh, this awareness among people in this country. And that was the beginning of this process. So basically, there are citizen training programs. Go go into the mechanics and the working of we the people, Sushma. Yeah, I I think what we have been really trying to do is that the state plays a big role, but the citizens shoulder an even bigger responsibility. So therefore, uh, you know, how do you create uh, the responsibility for establishing liberty, equality, fraternity? and justice in and and how do we live it every day so the mechanics we started was that we have a dialogue create a dialogue space for people and this is not something that can be given as an advice and therefore fill up fill up people you have to take out and what makes sense to people is when they can share their own experiences and their own stories so we created this dialogue space and we also realized that it cannot be more than one and a half hours to two hours because people don't have that kind of a time no patience yeah. yeah even the film fellows are, have started making 90 minute films i know <laughs> who would have thought <laughs> which may be a very good idea though <laughs> so so we said that you know let's create that space of like a cafe about four or five people who come together and we evoke certain questions and therefore they respond to those questions and they share as to what are the examples of uh, equality or justice they see in their own lives or whether it is being lived or not and we would read the preamble and m- most interesting rishikesh is that people don't know their own preamble mm, which we are going to read at the end of the show uh, yeah today. and uh, they don't know the preamble and therefore also they don't know how the constitution came about mm. what's the story of making the constitution and which i think every time we do that people are very excited and they are very surprised and they are very inspired we're going to talk some more with sushma and shankar who are advisors with we the people it's my republic day special let's go with some paula abdul opposite attract the wall flowers is uh, bob dylan son jacob dylan it's heroes we can be heroes not just for one day forever and ever amen if we just remember that we have this the most wonderful constitution in the whole wide world i'm talking to we the people i'd like to call them constitution experts i'm i'm sure they won't like that because they feel they are like you and me and uh, they are just facilitating uh, a lot of beautiful things and 4.3 radio one continues it's sushma and shankar from we the people this is good morning mumbai and you're with rishi k radio one the citizen cafes that we were talking about shankar uh, when was the last one you know the one is at a concept level you want certain things to happen you know people to uh, wake up to their constitution mm. but at the ground level when these cafes actually happen what are the things that come up yeah let me tell you a story um, you know recently i did a citizens cafe at the kc college here in uh, in bombay uh, there were about 120 students who came in and uh, you know initially when i introduced to them the constitution and uh, the, the values that we have in the constitution the initial reaction from people was to say that yeah yeah these are something that the politicians should do the police should do the you know the justice system should do and stuff like that but uh, you know the whole idea to facilitate them from looking at it externalizing it and to bring it to more internalized so then we focus on asking questions to them to look at in terms of saying that how do you practice it in your own daily life it is not about liberty in terms of liberty for citizens of the country but liberty in terms of how you practice your own liberty of speech for example if you have a difficulty with your own parents for example in order to say something do you open your mouth and use your freedom of speech 
okay for example if you have to you're looking at fraternity how do you treat people from different religion for example in your own college so we bought these kind of questions and that really helps people to really look at saying that hey listen it is not about other people doing something it is about i as a citizen of this country practicing the values that are there in the preamble you have anchors and facilitators sushma are they all volunteers there's no employment process so to say no 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 there is no employment process we are all volunteers these are all like minded people who really feel passionately about uh, this work and that's how which has brought us together and also what is interesting is the anchors and facilitators also rise from some of these cafes because they get so so much inspired they want to do it in their own uh societies they're called college their organization so they were looking for then we help them to get trained as facilitators the idea is that this spark should touch at least million people in the next 2 3 years is there any way i can volunteer anybody who of wants course. to volunteer with we the people no more about the constitution take part in the citizen cafes yes of course you can uh, ask for it and we can we have a facebook page you can go there and it's called we the people facebook page and you can write to us and we can you can attend the whole idea is that you attend one of the cafes do you have an email id that you, uh, they can write to there is a website uh, www.we-the-people.org lovely so they can just go down uh, there and enlist as a volunteer and then come Absolutely. to these cafes beautiful eric common now make me lose control up ahead i'm going to ask them where the citizen cafes happen and uh, who's really the star of that and uh, what are the exciting things happening there and uh, some realizations as far as the preamble is concerned we the people we're talking the indian constitution and uh, your role my role in it don't go anywhere the only thing that looks grammy is you brian adams you know it's twitter.com/hrishikay that's my handle on uh, on twitter on facebook there's a page you can like facebook.com/hrishikay vinita who is uh, part of we the people and uh, who first spoke to me about this turned around and said uh, the constitution is actually our letter our connection with the authorities it's a very beautiful statement and uh, most of us misread it think of it as some kind of archaic document and it, it's it's just so beautiful i'm talking to we the people this is good morning mumbai and you're with rishi k radio 1 shankar and sushma from we the people actually shankar you can answer this Sanjeev on Twitter says, "When the upholders of the Constitution are busy breaking it, how do we citizens enjoy our rights?" Which is actually a very common question. Yeah, in fact, uh, Sanjeev, that I want to say to you is that we are the upholders of the Constitution. Ah, ah well put. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, why i'm saying that because it is you know if you read the constitution one of the most important lines that really makes it important to me is that it says at the end that we the people we give ourselves the constitution it is not a constitution that somebody created for us it's a constitution that we created for ourselves so i think that's the fundamental message there is nobody else out there you know like gandhi said be the change that you want to see in the world so here we are saying that you know you be the change and there is nobody else who is the holder of this you know uh, talk about the citizens cafes what are the venues for it you just said you had one in kc college uh, sushma uh, do you have particular kind of venues or it can be anywhere no i think what we have tried to keep it is very simple and frivolous and so therefore uh, we have been doing it in colleges we have been doing it in offices in anybody's home as well as uh, cafes wherever so to me it's just a space that we need and with the minimum minimum kind of uh, needs so that people can come together so that becomes easy to hold it anywhere and and time how, how long is it is it duration it's about hour, two hours or what yeah it's about 90 minutes to 2 hours not more than 2 hours because people don't have that kind of a time and it i think it needs to have the richness of conversation and 2 hours is more than enough so shwa it is a republic uh, day special so tell us about the story of the constitution uh, uh, you know the, the intricate details of why we we need to feel so much pride about this wonderful document yeah to me i think what was really touching for me when i was reading the story was uh, that i don't know if people know that japanese constitution was created by americans and given to them mm. I didn't know that. And yeah. uh, whereas Indian Constitution was created by Indians, and there were almost about three hundred odd people from all over. They represented all kinds of minorities, and they were also at that point of time twelve women 
who were part of it and it was an open forum as well people could come listen they could contribute they could add they could write letters all that was happening and um, very famous lawyers and all those and intellectuals they were part of creating that uh, constitution and to me that is something that is really uh, very beautiful that was so open and that all of us contributed to it and all of us created and i remember uh, at reading that even winston churchill at that point of time said that should leave things to indians then they will turn to barbarism and therefore we need to create something for them Oh, and yeah and they didn't he? believe that we could really handle it mm. and i think all these years prove mm. that we are much above all of this and therefore we made it happen for us and therefore this whole story about uh, getting different people to talk and contribute and that's why what shankar was saying earlier that it is by us mm. not by somebody else shankar, shankar you, you want to add you want to add to this yeah, yeah i want to add something that you know the, we also need to realize that the constitution is the is the classical example of an audacity of hope uh, you know it was the time in 1947 when uh, you know after india's independence uh, we had the partition we had all the issues related to partition uh, mahatma gandhi was killed the country was in you know in, in serious confusion uh, the, there were many princely states which were still not really become part of the union there were so many issues and you know it all looked as if there was no hope and like sushma said about what churchill said that this country will go to dogs but 300 people sat there together for 166 days and worked on a constitution and a vision a constitution nothing but a vision for the country and they had a vision in at the times of the you know when things were actually really in bad shape so to us i mean to me i'm saying that when we are looking at a time when india is going through a change constitution is a beacon of hope and we should look at it as a something that will give us the energy to bring about change that we all desire to bring about in this country i'm talking to we the people it's a citizens initiative shushma and shankar are advisors with we the people time for you to win a uh, two um, tickets a couple pass to go and see all in the timing all in the timing is a play that's happening on the 27th of january at ave 29 in santa cruz from 8 pm onwards here's the simplest question of them all who is the father of the indian constitution one space the name of the father and your name and send it to 53650 the first person who sms is in uh, gets that prize more conversation uh, with these two We the people, you'll be in my heart now. Phil Collins, Paul Simon, Cora Chrome at 9:46. Twitter.com/slash/hrishikay. That's my handle on Facebook. There is a page that you can like. Facebook.com/slash/hrishikay. Congratulations, Andy. You're absolutely correct. The father of the Indian Constitution is Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar. Your last four digits are 8554. You go and see that play. I'm in conversation with Shankar and Sushma from We the People, a citizens' initiative. This is Good Morning Mumbai, and you're with Rishi K. There is a citizens' cafe today, uh, Shankar, uh, that you were telling me about. Tell my listeners, please. Yeah, one of the one of the thing that is happening now is that the 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 corporates are becoming very interested in um, you know doing this building this awareness among their employees. Mm. So one of the such organizations, the you know the the Visa Facilitation Services (VFS), uh, which is in Parel right here, uh, they have invited me to come and do a citizens cafe for them today afternoon at from three thirty to five thirty today. Very nice. That's the VFS office uh, in Parel. Yeah, that's right. Okay, great. And Sushma, you were saying that there's a very interesting film screening also as part. You know, all these are Public day celebrations. People, uh, we're telling you about it so that you can participate or at least spread the word. Yeah, tell us about that. Hmm. Yeah, there is in the film division on Pedder Road. There is a film by a uh, Punjabi, which is on the making of India and uh, on the story of the partition, and it is done in in a very interesting and uh, fun fun ways. And I think people should go and see it. I'm going to see it today. Lovely. What time yeah. would that be? Is it at six? It is six? at five o'clock. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Okay. Now let's read the preamble to the Constitution. We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic, and to secure to all its citizens justice, social. economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt an act and give to ourselves this constitution the significance of these words shankar you were saying that we must open it up to discussion so a, a few words on that please 
you know one of the words that strike me and you know when i live in the city of bombay uh, is the whole aspect of dignity of the individual you know which is very very strongly put in the preamble of the constitution and many times i when i when i look around and uh, you know see how people operate in this in our own city is that re- really when we have our say the maids coming and working with us in our homes uh, the 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 driver who drives our cars uh the rickshaws that we travel in etc how we actually treat individuals as equals and how we treat them with respect and dignity and not go by the profession that they are doing and then treat them according to the profession and um, you know i to i tell my daughter for example that not to call the, my car driver as driver but to call him as uh, chacha because he's an old man and he's is is uh, you know he's almost like uh, my grandfather's age and uh, it is not somebody to to kind of to how do we treat people with respect is something very simple as that i think the constitution actually puts it right in the preamble very well put running in the form family level 42 if you have any thoughts about this if uh, what the Constitu- constitution of india means to you and what these mer- words mean to you and if you feel that we're lacking somewhere i mean let's not talk about authorities it's such a cliche thing to talk about the powers and uh, to be let's look at ourselves here this republic day one space your thought and your name type it and send it to 53650 La- up ahead a last leg of conversation with we the people don't go anywhere so wonderful to have listeners saying hey i got to go back and take a look at the at the preamble again uh, thanks for doing this show it's really it's a small start i mean we all read it in school and we thought hey you know it's just another lesson but it's it's a document of such vital importance we the, the people is a citizens initiative they conduct training programs awareness raising events as well as citizens cafe to talk about the constitution what it means to us and what we can start doing at our level sushma and shankar from we the people are here for a last leg of conversation this is good morning mumbai and you're with Rishi K Radio 1 What are the outcomes uh, Sushma all these initiatives that you've been t- uh, doing all these cafes awareness programs that we the people have been conducting with the constitution Yeah so what is exciting is that people really make a powerful connection with the values that are stated in the preamble because these are the values that they also live and that get very inspired by the whole thing then there's another thing that happens is that there is a lot of owning up and making meaning of their role and responsibility as a citizen of india that actually starts dawning on them and then there is uh, this whole story of making constitution is some weird new awareness that comes in that and people have a sense of pride then and then the other outcome is that how do we work with the strict structure and the system that's another awareness so it has led to a uh, lot of initiatives like light up gurgaon because on the electricity there are a lot of issues that happen like the roads are broken then people are able to go to the uh, municipal corporation and register complaints the other thing that so they start having personal commitments to making things happen rather than just letting them be there and the other and also the they have been spreading awareness about the citizen themselves so i think these are some of the very major major things that have already come out and uh, that's what excites us and inspires us to continue doing it shankar do you actually uh, conduct training programs on how to use the rti the right to information act and do you help with a, with a battery of lawyers for example that are available at we the people's disposal at that level are you working we are uh, giving awareness training on rti and what are the things that people need to do uh in order to kind of get information from various government sources uh we don't have right now uh, you know a group of lawyers who are supporting us etc but yes if there are lawyer collectives and lawyer organizations available who want to work with us uh, we'll be welcome for that you know one of the thing that i wanted to add what sushma said was that you know the whole cafe work that we do with the people helps people to understand that and realize that look they are not helpless we are not helpless we are empowered citizens of this country and we can demand what is what is our right at the same time we take responsibility for being citizens of this country and i think it has led to many many movements of people and there is much more involvement and i think you can see that uh, from the from the things that are happening in the various cities of the country when the the rape incidents happened in delhi for example that there is much more citizen movement that is happening in this country uh, where people are willing to kind of come out and uh, take responsibility for this nation what can we do as at an individual level how can we connect with we the people just uh, one last round of the of the communication please 
yeah how you can connect with us is uh, through facebook we have we comma the people page there as well as we have uh, our own website we dash the dash people dot org so you can volunteer time you can host a cafe you can participate in their programs or uh, to raise awareness as well as uh, uh, talk about the constitution the preamble and all these wonderful things thank you so much shankar for being with us thank you very much and thanks very, for inviting thanks very much sushma for for your time it has been a pleasure really to share okay here we go prince with 1999 up ahead uh, some comedy with the east india comedy boys it's 1006